Hi, I'm Ella Fox Widows, a PhD student studying plasma physics with fusion energy at the University of Liverpool. Today is Friday the 28th of August and I'm here to give you your fusion news update. The stories today include 1. Chevron invests in fusion startup Zap Energy. 2. New findings could help scientists tame damaging heat bursts in fusion machines. 3. US funds AI and machine learning research for fusion energy. And 4. Plugging the power leak for fusion reactions. And I also have a bonus story for you at the end of this video. 1. Chevron invests in fusion startup Zap Energy. Chevron Corporation, the second largest oil and gas company in the United States, has recently made a large investment in Fusion Industry Association member Zap Energy, a Seattle based company developing next generation fusion machines. Chevron Technology Ventures say this Series A investment in fusion is an opportunity to increase and diversify their focus on low carbon energy production and to provide affordable, reliable and clean energy to communities across the globe. This investment in Zap Energy marks the 10th investment by Chevron Technology Ventures Future Energy Fund. Launched in 2018, this explores breakthrough technology that allows macro decarbonisation, the mobility energy nexus and energy decentralisation. SAP Energy will use this funding to continue to develop their technology and to grow their development team. Barbara Berger, president of Chevron Technology Ventures, said, We see fusion technology as a promising low carbon future energy source. Our future energy fund investment in SAP Energy adds to Chevron's portfolio of companies we believe are likely to have a role in the energy transition. SAP Energy was founded in 2018 and focuses on stabilising and confining fusion plasmas using sheared flows a plasma flowing at different velocities at different radii, as opposed to magnetic fields. 2. New findings could help scientists tame damaging heat bursts in fusion machines. Researchers at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory have recently discovered a new trigger for edge localised modes. These are instabilities that can stop fusion reactions and damage the inside of fusion machines. Edge localised modes, or ELMs, are damaging heat bursts that usually occur when the pressure at the edge of the hot plasma that fuels the fusion reactions reaches a peak. This causes the heat to erupt against the walls of a tokamak. However, physicists have recently found that these heat bursts can sometimes occur during the recovery from eruptions, providing information about the origins of these instabilities. These findings are based on experiments on the D3D National Fusion Facility, operated by General Atomics. A better understanding of ELMS could help tame the potentially damaging processes and increase the lifetime and stability of future fusion machines. Julian Dominski, the lead author, said, Piecing the dots together, we found that a network of interacting waves suddenly plays a role in the ELMS process during recovery. These waves come together and abruptly exchange energy, causing the pedestal at the edge of the plasma to crash and release bursts of heat. The researchers found that these networks of waves corresponded to perturbations from neutral beam injectors used for plasma heating and fueling. They next aimed to conduct experiments to study how triggers for ELMS may vary and to test the use of NBI beams to control the bursts. 3. US funds AI and machine learning research for fusion energy. On the 20th of August, the United States Department of Energy announced a plan to provide up to $21 million to support research in artificial intelligence and machine learning for fusion energy because they believe it will accelerate progress in fusion. Also on this topic this time is a piece in the bore about how AI helps to make great leaps forward for fusion and the energy industry. The board tells how the Applied Science branch of Google Research partnered with TAE Technologies on a machine learning project to find solutions to decades-old maths problems relating to optimization and Bayesian inversion, key techniques used in the plasma physics research at TAE Technologies. TAE Technologies are an American energy company founded in 1998 that developed field-reversed configuration fusion machines, a unique design that differs from other fusion concepts. As a result of this machine learning project, TAE CEO Michael Binderbauer said, The notion that you hear fusion is another 20 years away, 30 years away, or 50 years away, is not true. We're taking commercialization coming in the next five years for this technology. As more companies invest in and collaborate with fusion energy companies, the reality of commercial fusion becomes ever nearer, aided by emerging technologies such as the advances in machine learning. 4. Plugging the power leak for fusion reactions. Scientists at the US Department of Energy's Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory have developed a new model for controlling magnetic bubbles that occur in plasmas and interfere with tokamak fusion reactions. 
This novel method, developed by Su Ying Jin, a graduate student at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, aims to improve upon the standard technique of steadily depositing radio frequency waves into the plasma to stabilise magnetic bubbles, a technique that proves inefficient when the width of an island is small compared with the characteristic size of the region over which the RF rays deposit its power. Jin's new model predicts that by depositing the rays in pulses rather than steady state streams, the plasma islands can be stabilised effectively. In the future, these predictions will be verified experimentally, and Su Ying Jin stated, Such experiments would aim to show that pulsing increases the temperature of an island until optimum plasma stabilisation is reached. And now for the bonus story. This giant machine could give us unlimited clean energy. Take a look at some elements of the Jet Tokamak in an article in Wired magazine which describes how experiments on the machine at the Cullum Centre for Fusion Energy paves the way for experiments on ITER. The article says that in 2021, Jet will switch on for the first time in 23 years. Since Jet has indeed been operating since 1998, we interpret this to mean that they will be running experiments with deuterium and tritium for the first time since then, which will be very exciting. Please subscribe to our channel for more fusion news and check the links in the description for more information on the stories featured in today's video. That's all the fusion news for this week. I hope you have a great weekend and I hope to see you next time.